using Sidecar is pretty awesome. Sidecar is going to allow you to use your iPad as a separate screen for your computer. So we're talking about using that iPad that you might have sitting around anyway, and you can have a whole two-screen desktop set up without having to plug in a single thing. So the first thing you're going to want to do to set it up is go to System Preferences, and then you go to Displays. So make sure that everything is updated. You want to have the latest iPad OS update for your iPad and the latest version of Monterey in order to get this to work. And there are some devices that it's not supported on, some really older iPads. So check the device list to make sure with Apple that your devices are new enough to use. So right now, what you've got here is you'll see I've got them both set up. It's showing Mac, Matt's MacBook Pro and the iPad mini. You want to have um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth both turned on on all of your devices. And you also want to make sure you, it'll work plugged in as well. If you want to plug your iPad directly in, you just have to make sure that you've got it as a trusted device. You'll see this little add display icon down at the bottom, and you can go ahead and add it from there. So right now, if I choose mirror or extend to iPad mini, that's going to automatically activate sidecar. So I click on it. And now my iPad screen is going to disappear and be replaced by a desktop, an actual Mac desktop. So if I take this window here, my displays window, I can just move it over to my iPad screen. And look at that. So right there, my iPad is just a whole second screen. I can use it for productivity. I can leave an app up there like mail. I could have my mail running on the side. And also, you've got the ability to shift it back. Now, there's a couple of icons on the left side of the screen. You can open up your virtual keyboard from there and use it if you want to search for something. So I can just type in and type power, for example, and see the power of battery settings there. So the keyboard will work for your Mac. So technically right now, it's showing up on my iPad, that little keyboard, but it's working on my Mac because this iPad is just acting as a second screen. So let me get rid of that keyboard. I don't need it. And you can copy and paste, you can control click, all those things are available on the left side. And I could take that and bring it right back. Now, if I don't want to use Sidecar anymore, I want to get rid of it, I'll just tap the button there in the bottom left-hand corner to disconnect and then hit disconnect. And now we are back to the iPad being a regular iPad again. So when I open it up, you'll see it's not the Mac screen anymore. Now we're looking at straight up the iPad OS. So you got a second screen sitting on your desk right now that you can get activated if you happen to have an iPad.